Coming up on this week's show, we are all about fall fun, and we make a trip over towards Logan County. We found a phenomenal zip line. That's where we're at right now. And, of course, Marmon Valley Farms. We've visited them before. It's just a lot of things that are going on around the fall, and we are on top of it here at Out and About Columbus. I'm Mike Kilburn, and along with Renee Warner, we're checking out all the fall fun. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. We talk about fall fun at Means Laner's Farm, and we are out there once again. They have a lot of new additions. They've got an American Native area. They've got a Pioneer area and a Lego area. A lot of excitement out here and a lot of family fun. Well, Sean, good to have you back on Thanks. Out and About Columbus and Laner's Farm. It's a great place. Great to see you, Mike. Glad to have you back again this year. So kind of for the people who didn't see your segment last year, let's talk a little bit about what they're going to find here this year. Oh, we've got a couple new additions that are going to be great. We're celebrating the history of our farm this year. So we've got a Native American and Pioneer area, kind of focusing on the early days of our farm. This has got to be just a ton of fun. How many people go through here a year? We just have thousands and thousands. On a Saturday or Sunday, we may have four to 5,000 people. Yeah. What's the age groups? Uh, all ages. It's one of those zero to 80. We have fun for everyone. Yeah. What's some of the new rides for kids? I saw the little tractors over there. We've got a uh, tire climbing area that I think is going to be a big hit. It's kind of like a giant sandbox. We've also got giant Legos, which are just going to be so cool. <laughs> and that's uh, in, the, in the barn, indoor play area. And then we've got some small pedal tractors, pedal carts that were a little track we built. So that's going to be a, a good time. Yeah. What's behind me here? Is, uh, is it a zip line or a swing line? or it, It's not like your traditional zip line. <laughs> not quite like your traditional uh, zip line at all. Uh, we've got a, a deck that you walk up and you climb on a swing where you sit and just hold on tight. And there's about 120 foot of uh, runway there to swing and, and have a good time. Yeah. Now behind us, we got a corn maze. Did you cut this one in? Yes, we did. Yep. Uh, we got to start early because you've got to get out there with the zero turn. Uh, earlier in the spring, maybe the corn's about six, eight inches tall. Uh, we made the mistake of letting it get away from us, and uh, a couple belts and a zero turn grunting later, we decided uh, you got to stay with it. Yeah, keep cutting. How hard is it? One in and one out? Is that the, is that it? Oh yeah, there's there's uh, some people that are going to be quite frustrated when they can't get out of this corn maze, and that's how we like it. <laughs> yeah. I noticed you got the jumps too. What do they call those? The air pads the kids can jump on? Oh yes, absolutely. We've got a giant uh, jumpy pad. And so it's different than your uh, typical bounce house. We've got uh, larger people, adults, teenagers can get on there as well. And it's a good time. Still got the animals up in the barn? Oh, absolutely. And we have something special coming this year, a miniature cow called a zebu, Z-E-B-U. And he's about the size of a goat. That sounds fantastic. Now, you got an event coming up where you have a uh, Native American speaker. Is that right? Absolutely. We've got a lady that's, uh, she's great. She's an expert on Native Americans. And she's going to come October 14th and 15th and actually set up an Indian village and speak about it. Yeah. So it's going to be quite interesting. We hope a lot of people will come and check that out. Yeah, that would be fantastic. Well, give us some contact information on your website so folks can come out here and enjoy the farm. Check us out at lanerpumpkins.com. Fantastic. Sean, thanks so much Thank for being you, on the Mike. show. Good really to see you. It. Awesome. Well, it's a beautiful day here at the Pine Tree Barn just south of Worcester. Here you'll find wonderful shopping, delicious dining, and even learn about history. We learned about their upcoming Williamsburg Festival and all the fun you can have from Matt. Well, Matt, welcome to Out and About Columbus. I know we've been here before, but this is my first time here, and boy, is it really neat. Well, we're so glad to have you. Thanks for coming back. Well, tell us a little bit about the Pine Tree Barn. What are we going to find here? Well, it's an historic barn. It was renovated back in the 70s. It uh, sits here on the Kilbuck Valley. It started originally as a Christmas tree farm back in the 50s and 60s, uh, but it's involved into a lot more than that. We're now a year 
year-round destination for Northeast Ohio. We have a delicious lunch restaurant that's open seven days a week. We have furniture, shopping, gift shop, a boutique, uh, interior design studio, a whole bunch of things going on here. Yeah. Well, what kind of delicious food are we going to find here at the restaurant? Well, we pride ourselves in uh, making everything from scratch. We have uh, pizzas, salads, gourmet sandwiches, soups, uh, delicious, incredible homemade desserts, uh, pastas, all sorts of features uh, every day, some changing uh, regularly. Well, there's lots to see, but the big thing coming up is the Williamsburg Festival, and you guys are a big part of that. Tell us about that. Well, the Williamsburg Festival started about 30 years ago, and it has evolved into a really well-attended event here. It's I, I love it because it's all about family and fun and history. And well, it is a themed festival, so you're going to see a lot of really interesting things. There's going to be artists and craftspeople that we've selected from all across the state, and they will be demonstrating their crafts, and of course, their things will be for sale as well. But in addition, we also have historical reenactors that are going to be here. We have an 18th century colonial militia that's going to be encamped here, firing their cannons and firing their muskets, and then explaining what it would be like to be in a colonial militia in the 1800s or 1700s. And then um, we have also a historical reenactor that's going to be doing a medicine show. We're going to be having a, a Native American out of Mansfield that's going to come and talk what it was like to be a Native American. He's a descendant of a tribe that lived in this area back in the 1700s. So it, it's fun for the whole family. And the best thing about it is that it's free. There's no charge for admission and there's no charge for parking. Fantastic. I mean, what a fun way to learn about history. Well, that's what we like to think. Yeah, it's where history comes alive. And, and it, it's fascinating to see young people, you know, engaging with these uh, militia and learning about what it was like to be in battle back in the in the Revolutionary War and what it was like to carry one of these muskets and why they're dressed the way they are. It's, it's interesting to see that. Well, tell us again when it's it's going to take place and how we can find out more information so we can come experience it. You bet. Well, it's always the first weekend in October and this year it's October 7th and 8th. It's Friday, it's Saturday and Sunday, 9 to 5. And if you need more information, you can go to our website, which is pinetreebarn.com. If you need to, you can call us at 330-264-1014. Well, you know, Central Ohio absolutely loves zip lining, and we made a discovery in the Bell Fountain area. This is a great place to come and do some extreme zip lining, something really for everybody in the family. They have an event center. It's an amazing place, even a tiny house. We talked to Terry Markin and learned more. Columbus is a big town for zip lining, but unfortunately, there's not a lot of places there, so it's, this is a great discovery for us to find you here in the Bell Fountain area. Well, we're excited about Columbus as well, so we just want to get the word out to all the people in Columbus and let them know it's a short drive here to Mark and Farms Upline Adventures and let them come experience it for themselves. Well, Terry, how did this get started and how long have you been here? Well, we've been here about six years and uh, we actually put this course in because my kids experienced a zipline course for themselves and talked me into putting a zipline course in here. And uh, it's just been exciting. Um, we have people that come from all over the United States. Uh, we average about four to 5,000 visitors a year now. And uh, people from all over, uh, you know, different countries, it's just been very exciting. Yeah. Give us some idea of the course. What are we going to find out there? Well, we have 13 ziplines and five high rope bridges, and it takes approximately two and a half hours to go through our course. You know, the experience is just uh, uh, phenomenal. I mean, when people get done uh, with our course, they're so excited. Um, probably the highlight of our course is called the Extreme Zip. Um, it's 800 feet long and crosses a big two-acre lake. And, uh, you know, it's just a, a, a great way to uh, enjoy the day with your family or friends. And uh, so we just uh, encourage you to come out and check it out for yourself. Yeah. Okay, so if I've never done this before, what what's the prep like? What do I have to do? What do I have to bring? Or what do I have to know to go out and start ziplining? Well, the first thing you do is call us for a reservation. Uh, when you get here, we actually get you outfitted with all your equipment. Uh, we give you some safety information before we head to a training course. We put you through a 10-minute training course, and then it's a guided tour. So you're up on the course with our guides for about two and a half hours, and uh, they'll give you direction through the whole way. Let's talk a little bit about your event center, your little house that you have out here. There's all kinds of things when you get here. Well, sure. So uh, yeah, last year, we actually uh, opened up our uh, event center, and we can accommodate up to about 100 people. Um, you can do off-site corporate meetings, uh, birthday parties, anniversaries, weddings, and uh, so that's available uh, to rent on a daily basis. And then we just completed uh, a tiny house. Yeah. And so if you know anything about what a tiny house is, uh, you've probably seen them on HGTV. Uh, we rent it by the night or by the week, and uh, we just the response to the tiny house has just been phenomenal. And uh, so we'd encourage you to come out and uh, 
spend the night and zip line and just experience uh, the whole thing. Yeah, it sounds like a great time. Well, give us some contact information, how we can get signed up and come up and enjoy this. And we want to mention this is home year-round too, right? Absolutely. As long as the weather is uh, permitting, uh, you can zip line on Christmas Day if you'd like. <laughs> but well, uh, sounds great. <laughs> our website is markinfarms.com, and uh, you can contact us um, at 937-465-0358, and uh, we'll give you all the information on the daily tours and uh, um, and just help you with uh, any information that you might need. Would you like your business to appear on an upcoming episode of Out and About Columbus? Send your contact information to info at outandaboutcolumbus.com to learn more. Well, we made our way to Bell Fountain because we heard about a unique pizza place called 600 Downtown. Now, this place has been featured on the Food Network, the Travel Channel, and has an amazing amount of awards. We had an opportunity to talk to Brittany Saxton and learn from her what makes this so unique. So tell us what makes the 600 Downtown brick oven pizza so good. What makes us so great and what makes 600 Downtown so good is the fact that we use mostly local ingredients. We try our best to come out with outside the box unique pizza ideas and we try to use the best in quality that we possibly can. Now you have brick ovens. Mm -hmm. What difference does that make in the actual making of pizza? Honestly, with the bricks, our ovens are seasoned, so it has a baked-in flavor to it. A, a conveyor oven is going to cook fast and it's going to cook consistently, but a brick oven, it takes years to get perfect pizzas coming out of it. So we are seasoned and ready to roll. Why do people drive over an hour just to come and taste this pizza? What people come for an hour for is the fact that we offer a unique customer service, unique pizzas. We have beautiful tin ceilings in our restaurant. Um, we have the new patio outside. Uh, we have a full bar and service area. So what brings people for an hour is our consistency. What we are always trying to make sure we give the best quality we possibly can with the dough being made in our house to local ingredients that we use. Um, it definitely keeps people coming. I know that you've been featured on some national programming, right? Mm -hmm. I myself have been on Good Morning America. The store has been featured on Food Network and the Discovery Channel. Um, we've been recognized because we have awards in our pizzas, and we also have award with our talent and our staff. So, Well, speaking of that, what, what do you think, uh, who are the people that work here that make this such a unique experience? We have world-class acrobatic tossers. I myself have five gold medals and two world records. We have artists, we have musicians, we have athletes, we have a, an eclectic group of staff that kind of gives everybody a different experience every time they come in. Yeah, that's fantastic. Now I hear it on Friday and Saturday, you better get here early because you're going to wait. Our wait normally starts about 4 or 4.30 and we normally are running about an hour and a half, two hour wait. We do offer a call ahead program that way you can call when you're on your way and kind of get a fast track into the seating. But we do have normally a two hour wait here. Well tell us how we can come and taste this unique experience and try this for ourselves. We have Facebook, we have Twitter, we have Instagram, our website at 600downtown.com. You can find all the directions and all the information you'd need right there. Sounds great. Brittany, i got to try some of this pizza. Thanks so much for being on the show. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day, guys. Well, you know what? There's so many great places to enjoy the fall, and one of them is Marmon Valley Farms. Of course, we've been out here during the summertime, but in the fall, it's a special time as well as in the holidays. They have some really great events coming up with mother-daughter, father-son. We had an opportunity to talk to Matt Wiley and learn more about what's happening here through the end of the year. You know, we're doing our fall fun and, and things to do in the fall that's a lot of fun, and I can't think of a place that would be more fun to come into Marmon Valley Farms. Talk about some of the things that you got coming up here in October. Okay, well, sure. We offer horseback riding every day but Monday and here in the fall. And with the colors, you know, the leaves changing, beautiful time to ride. We got some nice terrain in the hills. So on a ride through the our trails, I can see a neat view across the valley. We also offer pony rides for that younger version, younger family. Um, Sundays in October come out for a pony ride and a hay ride, just a $5 per event. But they can also see the animals around the farm and enjoy the outdoors. Yeah. How many acres do you have here at Marmon? What's kind of the history of this? There's a total of 500 acres here at Marmon Valley. And so about half that, 250 acres in the rolling hills and the trails and all that. Then, of course, some acres is used to make our hay and so on. Yeah. Now, you said you got some uh, mother-daughter and father-son events coming up? Yeah, we sure do. A um, uh, mother-daughter can schedule for a weekend event. They get their own horse for the weekend. They actually can do some groom and saddle time, plus enjoy the trail rides, some great farm-cooked meals, as well as a couple other activities like a hay ride or climbing wall, maybe even archery, something like that. And then a father-son weekend as well, late October. We also do a youth weekend the early October. So there's several events or venues that could fit for the family. What's some unique things about Marmon Valley that you'd want people to know that, that maybe 
or just a little bit of unknown facts? Well, sure. Um, we've been around now for 53 years. We can also accommodate a large group. So if you have a youth group or a church group wants to come out and enjoy the riding, we can accommodate a large group of riders with 150 head of horses. Uh, it's fun. And each horse has their personality once you get to know them and all that. But it's fun to have those guys enjoy an hour ride. And we can specialize in that beginning rider or even some advanced riders as well. So... Yeah. What do you say to people who's never ridden a horse, like me, for example? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the horses that we have get used year-round, so it's not like they're going to do a, t a crazy or take off and do uh, crazy things, but also it's neat to trust that animal. You know, you and I trust in a mechanic, an engineer that designed that car every day. Right. And then to trust in this horse as well, it's neat to kind of, you know, realize the horse can do that. You know, some folks ride the trails at Grand Canyon. you got those steep cliffs, have to trust those mules. So it's neat to have that time in the outdoors with a, an animal that God designed we can enjoy those, those special times. So. Of course, we get past October, and then we start heading into the Christmas season. What do you got planned here at Marmon Valley? Well, sure. Now, this is like over 20 years we've been offering this country Christmas event. It's a neat venue with a live nativity in the outdoors. A little wagon ride takes you around. Then after the wagon ride, we have a petting zoo, pony rides, and also a take-home craft that the families can enjoy together. And then we get past Christmas, and then you're going to get some skiers here, right? Yeah, you know, we're kind of unique. We're open year-round. Some facilities that do horseback riding shut down after Labor Day. We're actually open year-round. And they're right across from Mad River Mountain Ski Resort. So some of the folks that want to spend the weekend, like Boy Scouts or a church group, can actually be accommodated here and be the first ones on the slope Saturday morning. Well, that sounds fantastic. Well, Matt, give us some contact information because I know folks from Columbus are dying to come up here. Hey, the uh, phone number is 593-8000-937, area code, or just look up marmonvalley.com. Love designer fashion, but not designer prices? Then you have to visit Pink Door, located in Dublin. Melanie told us more about some of the things you'll find at Pink Door, as well as how you can buy and sell when you visit. Well, Melanie, thank you so much for having us back out to the Pink Door. I absolutely love this place. Thank I can't you. even stay focused because there's so many beautiful things. Thank you. We're glad to have you back and talk about some of our changes in the last six months. Yeah, well, just give everybody a brief overview of what the Pink Door is. Well, we're a women's resale shop. We focus on high-end, previously loved clothing, although sometimes it does come in new with tags, which is always great. Um, but we're currently looking for fall and winter items primarily. We look for either high quality, timeless classic pieces or current styles and trends. So what's new since we've been here last? Well, new merchandise, of course, because we get that every day, luckily, and that's the lifeblood of our business. We've uh, changed out our designer section and added round racks now that we have more merchandise and makes it a little easier to shop. And we've added a petite section, which is uh, behind me to the right here. Fantastic. What is the buying process? If you have things that you would like to bring in to see if you know you want to purchase them, how does that? How do people do that? Okay. Well, it's a pretty simple process. We um, have you drop it off. We like items to be neatly folded in a shopping bag, box, or basket. Please no garbage bags because they don't stack and, and we can't store them while we're waiting for you to pick them back up. We make an on-the-spot offer for the items that we would like to buy, and what we buy is based on what we think we can sell. Well, how can we find out more about the Pink Door? Well, watch us on Facebook. It's Pink Door Consignment slash Resale, or you can come visit us here at our location, 329 West Bridge Street in Dublin Plaza. Fantastic, and I would definitely recommend coming in here because it's phenomenal. Thank you again for letting us come out, and I can't wait to start shopping. Thanks, start shopping. Well, we had to stop by Orchard & Company. This is a regular place for us around this time of the year, and what a fantastic lineup they have for you as well. Whether you want to pick a pumpkin or some gourds, or maybe you just want to have the kids enjoy some of the great things, and they even got a smoker here, you can even try some great barbecue. We talked to John Scully and learned more. Well, John, good to have you and Orchard and Company back on the show. Feels good to be back. Thank you. Yeah, man, I tell you, this is a great place in Plain City to bring the kids. Tell us what all they're going to find this year. Well, this year, obviously, we have pumpkins, um, but we have a lot of activity stuff for the kids and the family to do as a whole. We have zip lines, barrel train, jumping pillows, pedal cars, a huge tire mountain that they can run and slide on, climb on, a corn pit, a hay barn. Um, wagon rides, all kinds of stuff that they can enjoy the day on. Yeah. You know, one of the things that's nice about this is bringing the kids out to the farm, letting them enjoy the fresh air, get away from the video games, right? Right. Yeah. And it's going to be beautiful. It's been a beautiful summer, beautiful fall so far. So uh, get out and enjoy the weather. 
Is there a, a particularly good time to come out, or are you crowded on the weekends, or what are your hours? The hours are Saturdays and Sundays from 11 to 6, and that will run through the end of October. So, John, I see a ton of pumpkins here. What's that mean? We've got a lot of good pumpkins. The pumpkins did really good this year. Uh, we have a couple different sizes. We have some monster jumbos, and we have even some small ones for the little guys. Uh, tons of good gourds if you want to do some decorating. Um, we just do it by size, so come out and pick whatever size fits your needs, and we'll get you hooked up. Sounds great. Now, the Orchard and Company is not only this, but you guys are also an event center as well, right? Right. We do all kinds of corporate events, weddings, uh, receptions and ceremonies. We have all kinds of spots out there that uh, people like to get married at. Yeah. Now you got a little restaurant inside, right? Right. Yeah. All homemade food. It's all homemade recipes. Uh, we smoke all our own meats. All the baked goods are homemade. Uh, there's nothing artificial. Or... Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. Good down on the farm cooking, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I saw the smoker out back. I was wondering, was you smoking in it? Hey, we do a lot of pork. Uh, occasionally, we will do chickens and brisket. Uh, we try and do something a little bit unique uh, every Sunday. Yeah, well, that's fantastic. Well, again, give us those hours, contact information, because I know a ton of people are going to want to come out here and enjoy the Orchard Company. Saturdays and Sundays from 11 to 6 through the end of October. Okay. And your phone number and website? It's theorchardandcompany.com. And if you need to call us, 614-306-1071. Fantastic, John. Looks like another great season. Thanks so much for being on the show. Thank you. Like the Out and About Columbus Facebook page for pictures, video, and more on the show, including news about upcoming shows and even exclusive behind-the-scenes content. That's Facebook.com slash Out and About Columbus. Well, Mike, good to have you back on Out and About Columbus. Thank you. Good to be back. You know, just to refresh everybody's memory, you have a product that actually contains soy that is a way to extend the life of roofs, correct? Correct, yes. So RoofMax is a soy-based uh, rejuvenator, asphalt rejuvenator. It's actually soy methyl ester. It is what uh, is used in biodiesel. So we work closely with the Ohio Soy Soybean Council, uh, the Ohio State University in Battelle, uh, on the advancement of this new technology. So it's very exciting. We, we can treat a roof, as we're doing here, and, uh, and get another five years' life out of that roof. That's amazing. Yeah. So... I understand Public TV is actually going to do a mini documentary about this process, correct? Yeah, we put out a press release, of course, when we launched the company. We've only launched RoofMax Technologies in the last, uh, it's been about five weeks now. Uh, we've been doing testing locally here. My brother and I have been in the roofing business for, for 30 years. So we launched, um, uh, a, so we did all the testing here locally with a company, Roof Revivers, which is also going to be obviously on your show with Jack Jenkins. Um, but so we, when we did our test, or when we did the, um, the press release, Public TV picked it up, and so they're going to do a mini documentary um, with, again, Ohio State, the Soy Association, the head of research and development there, myself, um, the university professor from Ohio State, uh, and the lead scientist from Battelle. So just information on the new technology. So can you tell us, in essence, what this product does? It's just rejuvenating the, as rejuvenating the asphalt. Asphalt dries out. It has petrochemical oils that dry out, cause it to, to, to become brittle. So the roof can no longer contract and expand. We're just replacing those dried out petrochemical oils with bio oils so that the roof can contract and expand. Real simple. Just like the roads we drive on. Eventually they dry out and you get a pothole, right? right. You don't want a pothole on your roof, of course. What are the, is the expected completion of this documentary? Kind of give us some of the details as to how long this is going to take. So we shoot uh, September 28th here in Columbus um, at Battelle, at Soy Ohio and Ohio State. Um, and then it's supposed to be on in November. So they distribute the, it's, it's a mini documentary, sure. um, but they distribute it to the 230 public television stations. So it'll run, it'll air in different markets at different times over, over the next year from what I understand. Yeah, it's an amazing technology and I, I, I think people really have to understand what this means for people because it really means some dollar savings at the end, right? Huge savings, huge savings. You know, a roof now, last year was, uh, the average replacement was $11,095 based on an Angie's List survey. Right. So for a few thousand dollars, you can come and get another five years. Obviously, it makes sense. And we can come back and retreat again many times and get another five years. Yeah. Well, so, sounds fantastic. Yeah. Well, Mike, we're going to leave it there. Of course, we're going to have you back. But uh, give us some contact information for people who want to learn more. Absolutely. Just go to RoofMax.com. RoofMax, that's uh, RoofMax with two X's. RoofMax.com. Put in your information. And, um, and then, of course, the local authorized dealer. Here in Columbus right now, that's Roof Revivers. Again, that's our sister company we did all the testing with, and, and we'll continue to do testing. Um, but we are bringing on other contractors in this market as well. Yeah, fantastic. Well, Mike? Awesome. Awesome. Good information. Thanks so much. Well, there may be cars in this lot right now, but come the first home game, it's going to be filled with people, food, fun, entertainment. Everything's going to be here 
at the Ozone Tailgate on Lane Avenue. Drew told us more about this charity event and why you don't want to miss the fun. The Ozone on Lane, tell us what's going on this year. Well, as we've done for the last several years, we're going to have a open tailgate. It's a charity tailgate that will uh, support a lot of the local charities uh, initiatives. Uh, basically what we have is all the things that you would expect at a tailgate. Beverages provided by uh, Bud Light and uh, Budweiser. We've got Jack Daniels products on site, Pepsi products. We have lots of food trucks that are going to be participating and uh, live entertainment. This year we're going to start off with the Reaganomics and just power forward from there. And uh, big screen TV, uh, HD TV, where we're going to be able to watch the Buckeye football game if you choose uh, to stay around and hang around during game time. So when is all this starting? Well, it actually, uh, it varies from game to game just because of just the different scheduling uh, changes that you go through with game days. Uh, this year we're going to start off pretty early uh, with the Oklahoma game being such a big game uh, and we're going to be opening up at around noon and uh, we have a VIP section that will be uh, active during that time and game day TVs are going to be running at that time and uh, we're going to be just uh, having a great time. What do you have going on new this year? This year new, we're going to probably have some new food trucks we're going to be incorporating into the uh, scheme. Uh, we're going to have some nice coffee beverages here that are going to be a little bit different during the warmer weather and the, when it gets a little cooler out. And then uh, we've added a Verizon um, booster station, I guess, basically, or what if you would call it that, um, a charging station. So that'll be nice for the people that uh, still, uh, you know, live their lives on cell phones. So, Drew, where do we go to have all this fun? We come to the Riverwalk. Tower parking lot, 364 West Lane Avenue. And how can we find out more information about the Ozone Tailgate on Lane? Log on to the Ozone on Lane.com. Well, you know, one of my favorite places to visit is UC's Farm Market. Great prices on meat and produce and cheese and you name it. But you always kind of wonder, what's the history of UC's Market? And we had an opportunity to talk to Greg UC today and learn more about where this all started and where it might be going. Well, Greg, I got to tell you, man, I love this open-air market. This is just absolutely fantastic. Well, thanks. It's uh, been a long time coming. It's kind of been in the back of my mind for a few years, and uh, we finally decided it's the right time to do it. Why don't you kind of take us through some of the history? Well, this is something Mom and Dad started back in the 80s, kind of the same feel that we have now with this open-air market. It, it was actually over in one of our barns over at the farm, which is right next door. Um, we started there uh, the year before that we started selling stuff by the road and, and like a lot of people did back then we're trying to make extra money from there we progressed into building a new building we added meat and cheese you know I took over about 16 years ago and uh, from there we we've added to the first building you know this is kind of getting us back to our roots uh, back to that open air feel and uh, just really pushing the fresh produce. I've seen you make fresh peanut butter. I've seen you make donuts. Uh, you know, I, I'm just, and these are just off the top of my head things I can think about that you've done. Well, and that's where they come from, off the top of my head. You know, I'm, uh, winter I may get a little bored. I'm sitting there thinking, you know, what can we do next? We need to keep customers interested. And, uh, but yeah, we want to stay to that you know, feel that we have for family business. I still stand by the fact that you got the best prices on meat and cheese. You know, I've ever seen. Uh, that's why I shopped the place. So, great place to come. Give us some hours where we can find you, where we can come out and enjoy a piece of the farm. We're open Monday through Saturday, 9 to 5. We're just south of Plain City off of Route 42, Commerce Up Road. Check us out on Facebook.